Welcome back to this overclocking guide where I'm going to squeeze as much performance out of this Dell Inspiron 38047. I'm going to be overclocking it and doing some different stuff to it to see if we can actually squeeze some more frames out of it. Anyway, the first thing we need to do is pop open our case. Now, this is just a standard Dell case. As you can see right here, my mic arm is kind of in the way. And looking at the CPU, there's not really much we can do. No, it's not going to be overheating with that cooler, so we should be fine. Here is our GTX 750, which we're going to be overclocking. If we take a look at that RAM, RAM is something that we could upgrade but I don't have any extra. This is 8 gigs of DDR3 running at 1600 megahertz. Now upgrading the RAM would actually probably give us a couple of frames because that's running at really slow speeds. But the most important thing is if you take a look in your computer and you see a big chunky hard drive, a spinning hard drive, uh, that's gonna be slowing your computer down. You want your computer to be nice and fast and snappy. And that's why I recommend an SSD. Now, SSDs aren't even that expensive. Now, whether you clone or reinstall Windows, I recommend reinstalling, completely reinstalling Windows. And this is what I've done on this one terabyte SSD. It's a fresh install Windows. That means no other programs will be slowing my computer down. I really recommend that if your computer is running slow. And there's not really much we can do with this PC. So now we are going to go back into Windows. Now, first thing when it comes to actually gaming, you wanna make sure you have the latest driver. So if we head over to the GeForce Experience, you can see we actually have a driver available so i'm just going to click download and we're going to get this downloaded it's 671 megabytes depending on your internet speed it shouldn't take too long anyway another really good thing is you want to go over to the start type in power then it'll bring up this setting go to additional power settings and make sure you have high performance turned on all right now the driver has been installed we are completely up to date next you want to head over to your web browser of your choice and search for msi afterburner you want to download it and it's usually going to be the first link now you want this program right here to overclock our gtx 750 so after you download it open it up anyway here you can see a lot of uh, dials and stuff and yours probably won't look like this as it is a newer version but all the stuff is pretty much the same. So here I have Unigen Heaven Benchmark running in the background. So now we can simply increase our memory clocks and our core clocks. If you have no idea, I recommend just Googling it. We're gonna try 100 on the core. And typically the memory is always higher. So we're gonna do 250 and then we're gonna hit this check mark to apply it. Seems to be stable, we wanna get the maximum. So let's go to, let's go to 200. And we can do this one at, let's say 400. Looks like we have a bit of a crash. Yeah, looks like it crashed a little bit. We'll get a little bit of artifacts. That's never good. Let's turn it down a little bit. I'm going to bump it up by 10. I'm going to go up by another 10. All right, I think I found my overclock. When we would go an extra 10, it would start crashing and have artifacts on the screen. Now, I'm not seeing any artifacts, and it looks to be at the maximum performance possible. Still looks pretty good. I think that's going to be our overclock. Now that we've overclocked a graphics card and made sure everything is optimized, we are going to launch Fortnite and see if we get better FPS than the last time. So it looks like while I was testing out my first overclock, Fortnite was actually unstable and it did end up crashing, so then I turned both the memory and the core clock down by 20 and then it seemed to work pretty well in the rest of the game. Just letting you know that happened.
So here are the results for Fortnite. It had an 11% increase in FPS from 66 to 73, and not as much as the same as Apex. It was only a 4% increase, but an increase nevertheless, and it definitely helped during gameplay. I felt like it was just a little bit more easier to concentrate on the opponent, uh, even though it was severely jerky. Uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider had a 15% increase from 27 to 31. Watch Dogs Legion, 9% from 34 to 37. As you can see, some of the also the 1% lows of each of these games increase just a little bit and sometimes barely even a, nothing at all. So this definitely has increased the performance. So my ending overclock was for the core is 170 and for the memory 370 with the fan speed at 50, giving us like an average temperature around 60 to 63 Celsius. Now I think this was quite a success. Now if I were to use this computer more, I definitely probably upgrade to 16 gigs of RAM and of course get another graphics card if you have the money of course. Hopefully this has helped you in some way. If you have any questions about overclocking computers, you want me to do something, be sure to leave it in the comment section down below. I love doing stuff like this and showing you guys the results. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and maybe I'll see you in the next one.